Welcome on back, you guys. This is the Ginger Beard Man, and we have another of the Dark Pictures Anthology. We are starting Little Hope today. Now, if you weren't here the last time we got through The Man of Medan, we got through that. I'll put up a little bumper so you can go back and watch that if you haven't already as we roll through every single one of these that are out right now. So if you're not following, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. The like of the video and the bell so you know when other, other videos come on out. But let's take a look again at what we have in store for the future. As you know, I just told you, we did the Man of Medan. That was first. We are on Little Hope right now, a little bit of a rundown. Four college students and their professor become stranded in the abandoned town of Little Hope. Trapped by an impenetrable fog, they try to desperately escape while witnessing terrifying visions from the past. They must figure out the motivation of these apparitions before the evil forces at work drag each of their souls to hell. Now, this is pretty much to me um, something like Salem, I would say. Uh, kind of reminds you of that time period back then. Then next we'll be doing the House of Ashes. And then the devil in me. And as you can see on the right, uh, there is another one coming. But at the time of this taping, it is not out yet. But it is coming. So we got a little bit of a wait. So uh, that comes out. But we are going to do this. I have beat this before. Um, I haven't beat it since it came out, which was, uh, um, uh, yeah, er, right. 2020. 2020 over there 2020 that's the game came out so we're gonna do another one another forgiving so you guys can just watch the story for the main part of it and uh let's see what this story is all about We're going to probably play the original path through the story. This is the alternate path, the creator's cut. Um, I'd rather stick to what everybody has than the creator's cut. So we'll stick with the theatrical. As always, I'll try not to talk too much in between the dialogue. Each of these have their own unique story to them, so none of them are the same at all. Kind of great, to tell you the truth. Even though I was told they're all connected somehow, and I think the only way they're connected is the guy that's telling the story in the uh, studio thing. Library, I guess. I guess we'll call it a library. <laughs> Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, of 
fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? Days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? one way to start this off. Stop it, Shane. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise! I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now! <gasps> not tonight. No way. As you can see, yeah, we're in late. Massachusetts. She always is these days. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic, legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? There's no need to be so tough on her. It was an accident. Everything Megan does is an accident. Ice. 
I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! <laughs> oh! Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Maybe you should talk to Mom and Dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You wanna try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Devil himself would struggle with you guys. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty Wake. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. 
quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Yeah, because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. It's all the noise about, anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. Jeez, there's so much negativity in this house. <laughs> locked in his own house what will he do damn that's some bad grades Where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me... You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya! What's going on? That little brat locked me out! It's fucking freezing! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Shit! Megan! You in there? The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Just so. Anthony, help! What should I do? Get to the drain 
pipe and climb down. Oh my. It's like they were both supposed to die. <laughs> That is the beginning, and here we go. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? No matter. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, Look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing 
perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much depth. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy it. Oh boy. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? What do you want me to do, John? Call for help, if you can manage that. Calm down, genius. I already tried making a call. No signal. So try again. Asshole. Hope this gets through the fog. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaking up. If you say so. 
I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. piece of crap may as well be dead okay take it easy we'll figure out what to do Ugh. Ugh. fuck where's my phone So it kind of makes you wonder if that kid was literally dreaming this the whole time because all these people were just in that house burning up hey anyone up there except for the little girl hey daniel that you john it's good to hear you daniel taylor you okay i'm good we're fine too thanks for asking you okay down there i'm all right nothing i can't deal with hey john any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> hey Taylor, help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just. Maybe hidden information. Oh, you're kidding me. Like weird you know looking satanic like stuff. Coming out of a creepy horror movie. Actually, you're nearly <laughs> right. I've seen stuff like this in books. It's there to ward off evil spirits. Jesus. This really is a night full of nightmares. You know this place? Little hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. 
Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Got a point. Good to see you two, finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flag down a car and come rescue your ass. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful! Watch out! Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. right we walked dead straight going away from you so how'd we end up back here okay let's try something we'll all go together we came from that direction we must be able to go back that way i want everyone to stay real close no stragglers you want to put us on a kid's line okay okay i'm coming I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay, what do we do? calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. 
Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. This guy's literally only interested in the phone. We'll be right behind you. Not the fact that there could be some crazy yeah, guy in there with a with gun. Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is on to us. She knows. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Let her imagine whatever she wants. Probably drives her crazy. <laughs> I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Are we standing here all night or are we going inside? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, sorry too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. Aim with this and arc target. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple twenty. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Uh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> There's no goddamn us. There's no goddamn us. Hmm. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. 
Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? feeling about this we'll figure it out the way this fog just appears it's not natural not to mention all the uh, witchy stuff that's all hanging down the road as we go what the hell is this thing looks pretty similar to the one Taylor saw by the bus John said they're to ward off evil spirits. Where would he get an idea like that? I don't know. He's a professor. He must read a lot. I have to admit, I'm curious about what it means. I've heard more than enough, thank you. Are you the superstitious type? I never believed in this kind of thing. Doesn't seem like you can say the same. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Can you two make an effort to keep up? Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You too. We need to stick close. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Check this out. What a 
on earth is that? Not a clue. What is your name, sir? I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. out here by the fire why I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay this place is all wrong whatever happened here it's over now you have no clue you didn't see what we saw I don't get it what exactly happened here this young girl came out of the fog spoke to us maybe the fog has got you confused we're all stressed out stressed my ass i saw a girl dancing right here clear as day I said her name was mary looked exactly like the girl in my dream but she talked in this really weird accent was that even american i'm not sure i couldn't place her accent either what have we gotten ourselves into this kid mary did she want to hurt you No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, the spirits from the past, the little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps... He represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. 
you help make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Alrighty, you guys. I think that's where we're going to end this first episode of Little Hope. Thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Like I said in the beginning, if you're not subscribed, hit that button. Hit the bell so you know when the next video comes out. And a like on the video would help with me a lot. And I will catch you all on the next one. We'll start really right here, literally. Right here. So have a good rest of your day. And I am out of here.